Oh, it's time to check in with our dear friend, Chef Tenoria Askew, for a segment we like to call Hungry, Hungry Hoosiers. That's right. Yeah. Anytime Chef Tenoria is here is a great time in the studio. Yeah, it is. She's joined by Samantha Burke, the executive director of Pass the Torch, to tell us more about an event they're doing and even how to put together the best charcuterie board. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hi, Good to see you. Hello. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, Tenoria, we always love it when you're on. Uh, I love not coming. Not just because you feed us, but because you're just amazing people, <laughs> and uh, we love having you on. So let's Thank before you. we dive into charcuterie, let's yes. talk about this really cool event okay. on the 17th that yeah. you guys are partnering together on. Yes. So I get to be the keynote speaker, no pressure at all. Congratulations. At this amazing event that Samantha and her team are putting on. So I'm going to let her tell you all, all about it. Okay, great. Because I'm just supposed to show up, be pretty, and talk to people. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, do. I, I know, know you can do that. Amazing job, Tenoria. We are so, so excited for this event. It's a really great way. I mean, it's called Pass the Mic. So if that theme, that motif really speaks to you, it's so actionable, right? Yes. Being able to get the community together to share their voice, their stories, and um, just celebrate. I think that we all have this amazing energy coming out of being home for a while. Yeah. That we wanted to do something different in what matters. So being able to have some culinary bites, some good food, approachable, and uh, have some good music and just have some fun. Ashley Nora is going to be doing a live painting fun. on site as well and uh, again just get the community together so all are welcome to join I that's amazing that. and I love the fact that you are highlighting some women-owned restaurants yes. in town yes we are so excited about that so uh, talk about being able to celebrate what's in our own backyard here yeah. so uh, hopefully people come hungry and yeah. they walk away uh, nice and full and, and happy and empowered food storytelling uh -huh. connection and chef Tenoria being a keynote uh, come on yeah. what more yeah. could you want I know she's, well, yeah. she's very much in the zone though right? I'm in the zone Exactly. Yeah. Building charcuterie words are like my thing. Okay. Yeah. I love it so much. It's like art to me. But when Samantha and I first started talking about this event, I knew that it was about bringing community together and really a community of women. Yeah. And so I thought, what's an easy thing that anyone can do to bring community together? You can build a charcuterie board. Okay. Yeah. There are selections from any price point. There are so much um, different varieties of cheeses and meats and nuts and fruits that you can just put everything together. And so I thought I'd give y'all a couple little my charcuterie building tips. Yeah. The boards are cute. They're great. They are. Cute. They're wonderful. I love the boards. You can even do a plate. Okay. This little guy is a great holiday gift. It's just all the little knives yep. that people don't realize they need we got for the cheese. Wonderful uh -huh. holiday gift. Yeah. Um, but I love parchment. Okay. I was going to ask, is this parchment it paper? It is parchment paper. You it just is, wrote on it yes. with a Sharpie. It's easy cleanup. Easy. I've got my Sharpie so it's labeled so yeah. that everyone knows what they're eating. And yeah, I always do parchment. I actually started doing parchment as an accident. Really? I left my board at home doing a dinner party and I was like, I got parchment paper! And now there I do it. it all the time. Sometimes those are happy accidents. And then like you said, easy cleanup and people actually yes. know exactly what kind of cheese it is. Because yeah. that's what I want to know a lot of times. I'm like, right. what kind of cheese is yeah. it? Yes. Walk us through what you got here, Tenori. I'm, I'm especially intrigued right there. What is it? Okay, so I always try to do at least one homemade thing on a charcuterie board. Okay. When I'm bringing community together, I don't feel like it has to be a big fuss. If yeah. you just want to order pizza and beer just to get people together, do it. Fine. Right. But I Great. feed people. It's what I do. Yeah. Um, and so I made this apricot gorgonzola cheese spread. Come on. Oh, wow. It is so good. My friends like to lick the bowl when I'm done. <laughs> um, and this is actually in my cookbook. It's in Staples Plus 5, Come so on. you can well. get this recipe. Oh, um, it is an excellent holiday option to have for parties That's such a dainty and different things like that. Dainty doll. Yeah. Can yeah. you give me like free time I'm, that Yeah, side? I'm sorry. I don't know why I was trying to be shy with <laughs> no, it here. No, that's okay. Are you going to be fixing some charcuterie, uh, Tenoria, at the event on the 17th? Uh, no, okay. I no no pressure. I can't mm. cook and talk. Oh yeah. wait, I do yeah. that with y'all all the time. Just oh my kidding. Word. I can cook and talk. <laughs> Samantha, you gotta get in on there. That no, oh good. my god, try it. Yes, dig in. Dig wow. In. Oh, so that good. is so good. Tenoria, what do you think? Like, are some mm. secrets? Maybe like some expert tips yes. about yes. charcuterie that people need to know. Have variety. Have a hard cheese, a soft cheese, and a cheese in the middle. So mm -hmm. I've got this soft mushroom brie. Oh. I've got this herbed cheddar that's nice and hard. Mm. And then both of these are kind of crumbly cheeses in the middle. Okay. This is a cranberry white Stilton, and this is a sage rubbed gouda. Oh my gosh. And then have some height. So I do the grapes to kind of bring bring some height and dimension. Yeah. yeah. If you have a nut allergy, leave out the nuts or just put them in a dish. Uh, ramekin like this yeah. and then always have something that can kind of pair well with everything mm. so you can make one good bite so this meat this cheese and then this is a bourbon maple mustard come on so you can have a grainy mustard mm. you can have honey different things like that you can kind of build 
A sandwich. I'm getting another a one. A charcuterie of those. sandwich. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you can also use yeah. the code any now to get ten dollars off a flash sale for the tickets for the event on the seventeenth, right, Samantha? Treasure. Where do they need to go to get those tickets? If they go to passthetorchforwomen.org, they can get their ticket right away. And like you said, flash sale till midnight tonight. So we're nice. we're so excited. Everyone again is welcome. I love it. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh, I was oh you, give this to you. I thought you were toasting. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I know how you uh, paired the crackers too. Yes. How you've got like a different variety yes. with the different cheeses, mm -hmm. right? So, Tenoria, people want to follow along, get all these tips. What's the yes. best way? You can go to my website. I actually have a charcuterie building blog on tenoriastable.com. Nice. So, you can find out about that there. This recipe is going to be a reel soon on Instagram if you want to see how it's made. It's incredible. Um, so follow me on social media and um, get all of my Thanksgiving tips, which include appetizers. Do y'all eat appetizers for Thanksgiving? I do. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, in my family, we don't. And I was like, wait a minute, you need appetizers. Yeah. So I will be sending out an email all about appetizers. So mm. subscribe to my emails there as well. Go. Ladies, thank you so much. Please, thank go you. Go check out that event on the 17th. Don't forget to use the code Indy now to get $10 off your tickets. Thanks, guys. Thank yeah. you. Well,